Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another vlog. You guys are in for a treat today. So we are about to go to Hard Summer, the music festival. It's gonna be an awesome time. But what is even more exciting is you guys are going to see a 69 hour fast transformation, all right? A lot of times I use an event like this, right, where I wanna look shredded as an opportunity to cut. And guys, I have been doing my cuts a little bit different than most of you guys probably do. I've been doing around a 72 hour fast once a month. 72 hours was like a little intense last time, that's why I'm doing 69 hours, you know? So guys, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys the before and after. We are in the middle of the fast right now. It has been around 40 hours so far. So I started the fast Thursday night at 10 p.m. All right, it is now Saturday around 2 p.m. And I'm gonna end the fast tomorrow, Sunday, at around 7 p.m. Lauren, are you excited for hard summer? Yes. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna go meet up with Brett Maverick in a minute. But let me explain to you guys why exactly I've been doing the 72 hour fast rather than the slow, meticulous cut that most people do. So first of all, fasts like this do not hurt your metabolism like normal cutting. I usually eat around 3,500 calories, which is about equal to a pound of fat, right? Ew, fat, gross. So essentially it's not exact, but theoretically I would lose two pounds of fat during this fast, which would usually take two weeks if I were to do it at a normal 500 calorie deficit. You're cutting. Am I looking shredded yet, Lauren? Yeah. If you were to do a cut for two weeks, your metabolism would take a hit because you're at a deficit for such a long time. But the cool thing is during a 72 hour fast, studies have shown that your metabolism actually increases slightly. So a lot of people think, oh, you don't eat for a couple days. You're definitely gonna go catabolic. You're gonna lose muscle. No, actually 72 hour fasts are actually more muscle sparing than two week cuts. I mean, a lot of it is due to the release of a lot of good hormones, all right? Your testosterone levels increase, your growth hormone levels increase. Estrogen um, decreases. I, I'm not sure, Lauren, why are you a fasting expert now? No, I'm just trying to sound like you. And it's also super healthy. I don't wanna go into all the health benefits right now because it'll take forever, but guys, yeah. go look online of the health benefits of 72 hour fast. Okay. I'm not talking to you, Lauren. I'm talking to my more important fans. And yeah, guys, what's really cool is when you get the cutting all out of the way in just a couple days, you have a lot more time for bulking. You have a lot more time to put on muscle. I also love doing it for festivals because it actually gives you a ton of energy, all right? When you fast for an extended period of time, it actually releases a bunch of cool hormones, including adrenaline, right? Which gives you a ton of energy, which is great for the festival. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys what I looked like Thursday night after my last meal. Here's what I looked like. We're about to head to the gym to get a good pump going before hard summer and I will show you guys a cool midway physique update see how my physique is looking right before the festival a little more than halfway through the fast but yeah actually first I want to talk to you guys about how hungry you will be in my experience you will be way way less hungry than you think so in my experience the hardest time during the fast is the first night once you go the full day without eating that night, it's very difficult to fall asleep because you're releasing a lot of adrenaline, so it keeps you up. And also, you might be a little bit hungry. What I found the second day is actually much easier. But if you guys are hungry, especially if you're doing this the first time and your body is not used to it, you probably will be a little hungry. Drink a ton of water. You can chew gum. Technically, gum does have a few calories, but if you limit it, if you don't chew a ton of gum, it's really not gonna affect the fast. And also, just keep busy, all right? You're gonna be the most hungry when you're just sitting there not doing anything, all right? So stay busy. That's why I love fasting today during a festival because um, we're gonna be having fun and I'm not really gonna think about eating. But yeah guys, so it is Saturday. It is the last workout of the week. As a lot of you guys know, my routine is push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. And I hit a little bit of legs every single day. So it is pull day today. Let's get this quick workout and I will show you guys a little pre-festival uh, physique update. Unfortunately, we're about to take off the beautiful Adonic Stringer. I know that's sad because it's so freaking aesthetic. If you guys are sad to see it go, just get one of your own, adonics.com. Link is in the description below. But yeah, let's get it. Alright guys, so here's a quick physique update. Keep in mind, obviously this is different lighting, but at the end, 
I will do a before and after in the exact same lighting so you can see the difference that a 69 hour fast makes. But we might as well take advantage of this epic apartment gym lighting, so. the Brett Mavericks apartment. We have a new guest in the vlog, Miss Laura. Lauren and Laura. You're like the efficient version of Lauren. What the f She has too many letters in her name. Lauren has been admiring Laura's boobs because she just got a nice boob job. That's gonna be you soon though. Yeah. Yeah, Lauren's getting a new- Connor will get to take care of me. Oh, I'll take care of you, all right. <laughs> We're about to Uber to the festival and uh, it's gonna be good. Brett, I'm kinda disappointed. It doesn't look like there was a good turnout for the festival, man. That sucks, man. We're just gonna have fun for That was super fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Burned a ton of calories. I could feel myself getting a lot more shredded. To be honest, man, I was definitely hungry last night. It was a little bit difficult to fall asleep, but when I woke up in the morning, I was actually less hungry. So it's about six o'clock right now. I'm gonna break the fast in like an hour. And to be honest, I'm definitely excited to eat, but it's not like I'm really like starving. I've definitely been hungrier before. But anyway, the fast is very, very close to being over. So I just did a physique update for you guys like 30 minutes ago. Here's the final physique update. Super content with that transformation. Obviously, my abs look a lot more defined. I think that's a ton of progress for just two days. So overall, I am very pleased with the experience. So you guys can see the difference. Here are the two physique updates side by side. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, turn on post notifications. Yeah, I will see you guys next time. Peace.